Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Tuesday, July 12th, around 9 p.m. Mountain Time 2023. The third day of the Iceland eruption continues, and the area has been open to the public and to tourism. That is due to the fact that the eruption is at much lower levels, but still a dangerous undertaking. Keep calm, it's boom time. This just in, multiple tornadoes touched down across the Chicago area. Earlier on Wednesday, the National Weather Service urged Cook County residents to seek shelter immediately after large and extremely dangerous tornado was spotted near Summit. This is a rare occurrence. And the National Weather Service has confirmed that multiple tornadoes touched down in the Chicago area Wednesday evening, including one near O'Hare. There is some video of that. Take a look at the size of this tornado. Absolutely gigantic. And that is a shot from O'Hare. Severe weather warnings continue. Vermont flooding wipes out highways, bridges, and railroads as more rain is forecast. It is spectacular. Devastating floods batter Vermont. Oh, we're going to get demonetized for that. <laughs> Take a look at the flooding water in that town. Downtown is drowned. Our thoughts and prayers go out to all the people being affected by these floods. Hot summer temperatures causing Utah roads to buckle. And I can't even chuckle. High heat is causing Utah roads to buckle and it's raining in this shot. So I guess they're not buckling anymore. But the heat wave expands with more than 108 million people under alerts. Can you believe that in the middle of summer? I can't. Jesus Severe storms expected in parts of Oklahoma overnight, so heads up. And also, Wednesday night thunderstorms could hit Kansas City. Triple-digit temperatures spread, especially in the regions that usually have triple-digit temperatures. Showers and thunderstorms are expected across the Mississippi Valley and Midwest, leading to a risk for flash flooding from heavy rainfall. Widespread excessive heat advisories and warnings are already in effect across the Great Basin and Deep South. As the heat wave is expected to extend into early next week, and it looks like the monsoon will return in just about eight days. So cross your fingers, kids in the four corners. And bad news for New England, more rain later this week. So stay tuned for more updates. Let's take a quick look at that severe weather that moved through Michigan there. And you can see the storms popping up here in misery over, uh, on Thursday. And then some pop-up storms on the East Coast, Oklahoma and Kansas here on Friday. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Reventador to 15,000. We've got Popo, Fuego, Semadu, and of course the Rickianus Peninsula. The area, the access to the area has been opened. It is a nine kilometer hike to look at the eruption. That is not a small feet, about four and a half miles or four miles. You have to walk here. It says 20 kilometers round trip. Uh-oh, what did we do? Would you do it? I would. And so here is the map. There it is. There's the 10 kilometers in and out. And here is fake audio. I was just informed this audio is recorded in 2022 from a prior eruption and they're just looping it here for effect. Sorry to say. But this is the RUV.IS cameras, Iceland government, and this is live on a far TV. We also have footage, some of the greatest drone footage is coming from Isaac Finnbogason at Iceland FPV. He's got three days of footage. He's still up there and filming uh, this eruption. Let's see if we've got some good footage back here. Yeah, he's in fact getting some close-ups and some spectacular 4K photography there from the drone. So he's got a pretty nice drone out here. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. 
is gold for us. So beautiful footage here. Sorry. Time, it's time for a big slice of wall. You know. And there's the lava flow. Fantastic. Good work, Isaac. Beautiful shots from day three of the eruption on the Rakanis Peninsula. At the end of the lava flow, it's like splitting now into two. That's interesting. Multiple streams now happening. As you can see where it's probably headed out, this valley here. So amazing footage will be linked below. Give them a thumbs up. Subscribe over there. Tell them we sent you. Isaac Finn Bogassen. Awesome, awesome work, bro. And one more shot here. Yeah. That's it. That is Good the entire night. lava flow um, and the fissure, so the main thank fissure so erupting. And he's running out of battery I'm just there. Gonna mute, mute the <laughs> Space Weather News update. We have multiple M flares. Boom, 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 boom. New active region moving around the limb here. Take a look at that. Probably we'll see earth facing quiet, but in the meantime, there was some flaring. Not earth-facing, but during the flaring, a filament erupted off of the south here and has an earth-facing component. Wait for it. It's coming up right here. Boom. We could stop that and move it back. And you can see that halo, that haze moving out in all directions. That is indicative of something that's going to be coming right at us. Very good example of a partial halo, I would call that. Um, and so that means we are going to be seeing some geomagnetic activity here on Earth. Less visible on C2, that halo event, but it is being modeled on ISWA, I believe. This is now not showing. <laughs> but you can see here on... The Enlil spiral here, WSA Enlil spiral, you'll see that flare come out, that filament come out right there and should make impact on the 15th, which will be Saturday morning. Sun, Friday night, Saturday morning, we should have impact from this baby. Maybe give us some geomagnetic storm. They are forecasting G1 geomagnetic storm potentially here on the three-day. So that would be KP5 on July 15th. So heads up. Heads up. We do have some space weather coming our way. NASA's Perseverance rover finds preserved organic molecules on Mars. It's not preserved matter from biological organisms, but the discovery is a boost to the rover's mission on finding signs of ancient life on Mars. And a defunct wind satellite is set for an unprecedented assisted re-entry for safety reasons. For safety reasons, mission engineers will attempt an unprecedented assisted re-entry with the European spacecraft, which wasn't designed for controlled descent. Oh, what could go wrong? And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are a shadow band and we need your help to grow. Become a Patreon, support the work we do. We love you. Be safe. Mm -hmm.